Okay, this video is about this uh, replacing the gears on this Singer sewing machine. It's a number 534, but they, a lot of them are very similar. Uh, when I bought the gears, I saw that there were like 20 different model numbers. So anyway, I've already got it, um, the, the shafts um, m moved. Um, I think taking it apart is probably kind of more straightforward than getting it back together. Um, so I didn't show that part. Um, so this is just getting it back together and getting it synchronized. So uh, there's two synchronizations that need to be done. I've never worked on a sewing machine until this video. So if you want to stop now and find an expert, that would be your prerogative. Um, I did get it to work though, I think. Um, at least it sewed. I'm not sure if it's optimal or not. Um, so basically, uh, I've stuck on the, um, the the gear that needed replacing. I already replaced the other two gears um, before, and uh, but I've got the shaft this shaft uh, undone, and I'm going to stick this keeper ring on here to get it back. Reinstall that shaft so it doesn't slide anymore. You have to obviously take that off to get the gear on there. And you even have to take the power supply off to get the um, the other gear set installed. Which, of course, I'm not showing any of that. This is just putting it back together. So, this is... What happened to me was I, I managed to get it apart without looking at YouTube. And then uh, when I got to reinstalling it, I thought, Oh my gosh, I have no idea how to get these things synchronized again. And I can't say for a fact that I've got these things synchronized perfectly, but... Um, you got to notice that in this case there's a flat on that shaft so you're gonna have to line that up with that um, with that set screw some of them have flats and some of them don't this one does and so you're gonna want to line that up with the flat when you tighten it so th these two gears are the thing that uh, that advances the the fabric when you're sewing and that has to be synchronized with the position of the needle, of course. Otherwise, you'd be moving the fabric when the needle was in the fabric, and that's a bad idea. And from some other YouTube video, he, he told me when the needle goes down, the thing goes down, uh, you know, the advancer thing goes down. And when the needle goes up, you have to do, uh, you know, you have to basically synchronize those. So that's all I did here just by eye. Um, there's probably a better way to do it. I don't know it. This is the way I worked on my sewing machine. I'm not guaranteeing you that it's optimal. Uh, it just seemed to work. So now um, we are we're looking at how the uh, how that uh, fabric advancing thing <laughs> don't even know the name of it works. Um, but basically, you can see that uh, you can kind of watch it move when you when you. Uh, twirl that thing. Anyway, for ne right now we're moving the needle to its highest possible position. And so you want to you want to um, set it right now to like to be just when it's coming down and then you set this to when it's just coming down or up or whatever, whatever, you know, however you want to do that. But basically when you want to get these motions in sync. So this is going down. So that's you know, you basically tinker with it until you get a feel for what it's doing. Um, and so, you know, you move it manually, you watch the, the, uh, the, the needle start to go down, and that's kind of the position you want to make a mental note of, and uh, synchronize it with this. And, and this is probably a better way to synchronize it when its machine is upright. Of course, the gear is loose right now, not tightened. So you get this to be where it's just ready to go down and get it, you know. Again, you, you might have to tighten it and then look at it, watch it. We're going to watch it here. We're going to tighten it now. Found a position that maybe is a good candidate. <laughs> now we watch mm. it. So it goes down when the needle goes down and goes up and needle should be out by the time the fabric is getting advanced 
It looks pretty good to me, I guess. I don't know. Again, I, I didn't even look at this before I before the machine broke, so I couldn't even tell you what it was set for before. So now we're going to start working on the uh, on the oh, I don't know what you call it, the hook, I guess you call it. This has a flat on the shaft, and you can see that if you look carefully at this video, you can see that there's a flat. So there's really uh, just uh, what I did is I tightened this a little bit, not all the way, because at some point I'm gonna I'm gonna mesh those two gears more nicely. Right now it's just um, it's just set so that it can slide a little bit, but not twist, not not slide on the shaft, just slide um, along the shaft's axis axis and this one I'm going to tighten just so it doesn't fall off I want this one to be able to spin because this is how you do the synchronization of the needle with the hook and needle position set to center and and there's there's a a machined um, opening and I'll show you here in a second but basically that that's what I use to synchronize. You look for that little shiny spot and watch it pass. And this is sort of a drawing that I added to, you know, because it's very difficult to see in the video. But there's this machined area that's opened up so that the needle doesn't, you know, uh, doesn't impact. And so you can watch sort of the needle hit that, you know, not hit that part, but uh, I, I had it set and uh, tightened it down. I didn't mm. show that, but you can you can kind of hear and see here that. I must be off somehow because it comes in and bangs. Yeah, so it's kind of not good, I don't think, yet. So I'm going to show you how I kind of determined where to stop moving the the mechanism and then and then I'll show you how I twiddle the the uh, hook. See, right now the t the point of the needle is is even with the with that um, thing that it was impacting, and now I'm just moving the the hook spinner thing centrally to that machined out area. So that's kind of pretty much how it looks now, and I'm going to just tighten it up again. Yeah, so I went back and forth quite a few times. I didn't show you everything that I did on the machine because I was experimenting. And then I'm going to run this just by hand. I don't want to run it full speed and have it jam up and have something really catastrophic happen. But it seems to be working well now. I don't hear any banging or anything out of the ordinary. It seems to be sewing to it. Get it. Uh, it it picks up the the uh, bobbin thread, so that's good. So now I'm just going to go ahead and, and run through all these. Um, here I tighten this one. I think I tighten the, yeah, tighten the same one twice. But I'm, this is just a, you know, like kind of show for show. I'd already probably gone through and tightened all these things. But I just wanted to show you once, you know, before you put it back together, might as well go through and make sure everything's snugged up. Because at, originally I didn't, I didn't make them very tight. Just barely tighten up just so they wouldn't move when I was advancing it with my hand but I get everything all snugged up so that uh, it's it stays where I where I have it set of course you need an allen wrench for this <laughs> the right size I don't know what size it is it's an English setting though I didn't use a metric there's a test. Not a very long test, but seems to work okay. Satisfactory for me anyway. I'm I'm no expert, so anyway, uh I read or I saw on a YouTube video the guy said to put some grease on here and this is just this is some Teflon grease I had from my bike. Huh? Hopefully it's not the I mean it's it's definitely the wrong kind of grease. Hopefully it won't be um, damaging. Um, also 
this machine has basically not been used for 20 years and it probably won't be used for another 20 years so <laughs> whatever so anyway went ahead and put it back together um, like I said I'm I'm no expert it's the very first time I've ever worked on a sewing machine but uh, it seems to work um, no guarantees that this is optimal but um, hopefully it'll give you an idea if you're trying to kind of do what I was doing just to get um, new gears applied to a machine hopefully that uh, helped you out good luck with your repair I wish you the best <laughs>